Well, here's the unboxing of the Canon SX610 HS. It comes packaged very, very well indeed. Um, I've got to be honest, I love a nice printed box. Inside the box you get quite a wealth of information when you first uh, when you first open it. Just move the box out of the way. And you've got your usual packaging uh, in terms of the the cards and the instruction manual. Uh, it's quite a thick manual actually. Um, it's very very chunky. It's about a centimetre thick but everything is just in different languages so you've only got about eight pages worth of um, of instruction book. Here's the packaging all inside. Get a standard UK um, power lead. It's like a figure of eight lead. It's just a standard power lead you get with most Canon things. And here's our battery. That's a little uh, lanyard or hand hand grip. Do you want to call it that? Lanyard. There's the charger. And the camera itself, nicely packaged. So I'll just pop the box out of the way for now. So you can see what you get with it. Let's take a look at the camera. You can see the size in comparison to my hand. It's quite weighty to feel. You know, it's not overly heavy, but it's it's a good weight. You know, it's a good solid construction in your hand. The buttons are laid out very, very easy to use. You know, they're laid out really well. Nice big screen on it as well. It's certainly been thought about. They've thought about the design. You can see on the top you've got a few controls. On the left hand side you have the um, the flash opening lever. Now if you don't want to use flash on this camera then you just leave the flash down. On the other side here you have got the connectors for HDMI and some kind of strange connector, some PC connector. Now that does not come included in this kit. I did try to use a normal USB cable that would fit, um, but it doesn't fit. It doesn't go into the uh, the connector correctly. On the bottom, you have your sticker with your serial number and the little battery opening hatch, and a little rubber grommet as well. I'm not quite sure what the gr the rubber grommet is there for, because when you open, it's like a hole that goes all the way through to the uh, the battery compartment. Um, whether that's for a battery eliminator. Uh, I don't know because when you open it, it actually cuts the hole in half. So I'm not quite sure. There's a little clip just inside to hold the battery in place, and there's a section for the SD card to go into. But overall, I'm very impressed with the quality and the feel of this camera. So here's the bits just laid out a little bit better so you can see what you're actually getting. I'll put the uh, instruction manuals in there as well. That's pretty much your full kit. Okay, so let's start opening stuff up and let's have a, a better look at the charger. Charger works quite well. Um, the battery that we have, that comes with it, that we have with it, charges in about two hours, and you get about an hour's worth of filming out of that, continuous filming. But that is without using the zoom lens uh, backwards and forwards, because obviously that's going to use a little bit more power. So expect to get about an hour out of um, out of the battery, and it does take about two hours to charge. Here's just a better look at the camera. You can see the the shutter at the front. That if you do rattle it a little bit, you can hear it moving when it's shut. When it's open, you don't hear it, but when it's shut, you do hear it rattling a little bit. Um, 
And you can see that the layout of the buttons is, is very, very good. A little bit of a hand grip at the top as well, so it just helps you in your hand. So I hope this has been informative. You can see what you get. One of the things that you don't get with this camera is an SD card. So please bear that in mind when you're buying it. You do not get an SD card.